さあさあ皆様お集まりください本日のとっておきでございます本日は今夜のハロウィンパーティーの目玉としてこの特製ザッハトルテをご用意させていただきました Go to been the one clapping. Everyone gathered together, wondering what was going on. On the serving cart in front of him was a large sliced chocolate cake. Go on the tori, chocolate on it, Katayok no wash no monsho no furo o tsketa, Ushiro miyake dake no ipin de gozaimas. I have a feeling the almond's gonna be in there. This. The stupid, stupendous keg drew a gasp of admiration from all present. Fucking great stupendous. Don't worry, I only spent like 20 minutes on this keg. Don't worry about it. It's not like I took a whole 30 hours to make this thing. It's okay. どうかそれを皆様にお話しくださりますよ。よろしくお願いいたします。うん。これはささやかなゲームである。このケーキには一つだけ当たりのものがあるのだ。アーモンドだ。エンジー shouted happily。キンザ looked at her fondly and nodded。このケーキの中の一切れだけにアーモンドが一粒入っておるそのケーキを選んだものが今夜の王様であるぞあ、ファキヤヒュー王様ゲームなんて久しぶりだぜあなたのは悪い王様ゲームね<笑>さて王様になるとどんなことがあるのですかキングミー、ベッチ。王様は願いを一つ口にすることができる。I wish for ten tons of gold. それを皆で叶えようではないか。へえ、面白そうだぜ。おお、王様は男がなるんだよ。女の子はなれないよ。That's not always true, actually. Uh, Everything overlaps. Yes. Yep. The eighth piece, please. That's where the almond will be. お待ちなさいよ。小さい子から順に選ぶといいわ。Oh, fuck that. それがいいですね。エンジェちゃんからどうぞ。コーラ、マリアはお姉さんでしょ。エンジェちゃんを先にしなさい。<笑>おーおーおーエンジェが当たりを引いちゃったらどうするの ?The odds of her winning first is very slim, so it's fine. エンジェが当たりを引く。アーモンドが当たり、アーモンドが当たり。私たち年寄りは残り物に服があることを祈りましょう。But it could be anywhere in that slice of cake. That's hard. That's, that's difficult. So you can actually see where it would be. Clever, clever. Clever, clever. Clever, clever. No king for you. Everyone burst out laughing. Her real age was unknown, but she claimed to be 19 years old. In front of Angie lay a large cake split into several pieces. Just one of those pieces was the winner. Don't put pressure on me, Goda. <laughs> Where's the really tense music as you make this decision? <laughs> that one. Fowler pushed Angie's small back towards the table with the cake and she face plants into it. The chocolate cake was cut into 15 pieces. Pick the eighth one! 20 bucks down. I want to pick the one with almonds and become the princess. 
gives me the option. One of them has an almond, which could it be? Which one? I get to choose first, but it sort of feels unfair. I mean, if it, it is, isn't it? My chances of getting the right one are 1 in 15. Yeah, but if you go to, like, say, 7th, you might not have, you might have, it might already be taken, so you have 0% chance of getting it. There's no way I'll get it. And then when Maria goes after me, she has a 1 in 14 chance of picking the winner. Unless you picked it, and then she has a 0% chance of winning. The next person has a 1 in 13, then the 1 in 12, and the last person will win for sure. <laughs> That's not how probability works. <laughs> Everyone laughed. Apparently there was something wrong with my calculations, but I still didn't like it. <laughs> Angie almond up already and pick one. If I have to pick one out of so many, there's no way I'll win. But for some reason tonight, it feels like I might actually win after all. I have no reason for feeling this way, but when I'm in a good mood, Lady Luck always it brings me fortune. I had, <laughs> I definitely have some favors in with Lady Luck. I can be very lucky when I need it to be. She's got my back, and that's all I need. I concentrate on my fingertip and point it at the one of the 15 slices. The slice I chose was... Oh, fuck. No. Oh, did she... No, I can't save. No, I don't want that one. No. No. That's not the eighth one. No. Shit. I wanted to save. God damn it. I'm sure if I went back, I could count some way to eight because it's a circle. So <laughs> that's how you get into technical bullshit. No matter where I start, if I count eight spaces, I can get to that piece. Ha <laughs> ha. Fuck you, it's the 8th piece. <laughs> when he asked me whether I was sure, I felt a little uneasy. God damn it. Is that your final answer? No. Still, at times like this, it's better to stick with your instincts. It was one of those few bits of philosophy that the young girl had learned from her few life experiences. What if you want to use your mouth, Angie? It's 1 in 14 if you pick a different one. <laughs> Gota took the choy of chosen slice and put it on a plate with a fork and handed it to Angie. I was going to pick, like, the farthest right one, though. That was the one I was going to pick. God damn it. Fucking right click to go to the menu. It fucks you over. What can I say? Too many choices. <laughs> Thank Christ this is going to be script and it's going to give me the almond anyway. If it doesn't, I'll actually be legitimately pissed off. I got fucked. It was Maria's turn next. She was excited, determined to be the winner. I'll be legitimately furious. I walked away from the group all by myself. I was struck by a temptation to quickly cut the cake open and check for the almond inside. Obviously I would. However, I stopped myself. If I check my piece first, my chances of winning is a 1 in 15. <laughs> what? However, if I wait for some, uh, some other people to check their slices, then then when I see that they've lost, my chances will go up, even if only slightly. That's how probability works. In other words, instead of searching for the almond right away, my chances will go up if I wait for some other people to lose. Actually, I just started eating it very slowly. And just, you know, enjoy it. Fuck it. Actually, I probably wouldn't. I usually wait for other people to everyone to finish. But if someone picks a winner while I'm sitting here around here, the chance of my slice being a winner will go to zero. It'll be tough to calculate the right moment. I need to wait just long enough for as many losers to show up as possible. Just wait until Maria opens it. My chances of winning are highest if I can check my piece immediately before someone else wins. Yeah, that's the trick to winning this game. <laughs> yeah. I love little children so much. Because I fuck with them constantly. <laughs> what a strange thought. It feels like I'm missing something. Even though no one else can touch the cake that's sitting in front of me. 
The omen inside it will appear or disappear depending on whether or not the other people win or lose. I was in such a good mood that I felt dizzy and I couldn't figure out what was wrong with my theory. It's because you're drunk. But I did realize that something was strange. There is always just one truth hidden inside a cat box. Oh my god, it's a perfect encapsulation of this whole mystery. No matter what happens outside the cat, the box, it shouldn't be able to shake the truth inside. And yet I'm being shaken about by events outside the cat box, trying to see use those to use those to change the way I observe the box's contents. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm fucking drunk. After me inside, another me inside me is trying to say that, but it's too hard for me to understand. Too many me's. I feel like I'm drifting. I got so cheery and excited that even, even though I'm not sleepy, my mind feels hazy. Maybe it's because I drank Dad's adult drink. Eh, maybe. Another round, Genji. In the end, even though I had chosen the first piece, I decided to check it last. After I've seen that everyone else has lost, my chances of winning will be 100%. There are no almond. What? <laughs> I tried to find the contradiction in my thinking, but I didn't really get it, so I stopped. It's much better to have a 100% chance than the one in 15 and 1, so I decided to bet on that. I love that. I couldn't wait to open this precious chest, treasure chest, but I waited for everyone else to choose their pieces and check them. I found this almond on the ground. It's mine now. Effort the bright side, George. どうだ。アーモンドあったか。私もダメね。秀吉兄さんはどう? Oh my god. Can you guys take that to another room, please? I don't need you guys to be doing that in front of everyone else. <laughs> かけ引きなしの純粋なバクチも実に面白い。ベアとはどう出会ったか。残り物に服があるなどと言った嘘つきは誰だ。エンジはどうだ。アーモンドはあったか。今調べてる。なんだ。まだ手をつけてなかったの
The crowd around Ava split and everyone stared at me in his surprise. I was surprised too. The thing in her hand was without a doll Nolman. Goda, how did you fuck up putting an almond into a, a, a cake? Goda, almond uh, yeah, sure, totally. さて、そんなはずは… <laughs> これは<笑><笑> そういうことだ。2人が当たりということで良いではないか。ああ、まあ、しかし。Goto was hesitant. Actually, he had prepared a single special dessert for the king. It had been decorated in a way that made it hard to split for two people. So it wasn't convenient for there to be two kings. When Ava heard her go to mumbling something to this effect, she shrugged and laughed. Yeah, I mean, that's obviously what you do here. Like, out of... You have no respect for someone that wants to take that away from just, like, you know, a little girl. Or just a little kid in general. It's like, no, fuck you, I want my gift. I want my fucking crown here. It's like, come on. Any person wouldn't do that. Any human being wouldn't do that. Ava's not that much of a monster. Of course it worked. Angie had been worried that Ava would be declared the winner since she had spoken up first. So she hadn't even dreamed that Ava would give it up to her. <laughs> I wish for a giant explosion. Uh, what? Ten tons of gold on that boat over there. I want this fun time to keep on going. Forever. The young me spoke for the desire in my heart. I get the feeling that the nuance has changed. Still, that was an unmistakably that was unmistakably my wish. No, it fucking sucked. Yes, you had fun. Too bad. お姫様に楽しんでもらえるクイズをみんなで献上するのですね。such a weird concept. Moonbase. How many metric tons of gold would it mean would it need to be to purchase a moon base? Uh, okay, okay. 
記念メダルってことだろうな。Uh, uh, いっぱい正解できれば、いっぱい集められるんだろうぜ。No, no, 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 I'm not ready for this. <笑>ただ、集めるだけでは集まりませんね。うん集めたメダルの枚数に応じて、私から素敵なプレゼントを送ってやろう。Hell yeah. どうだガゼンやる気が出たであろう。I'm really fired up now. If the, if the top present is a, is a, is a,、uh, a servant or a、uh, stake, I will. Or both. I will gladly win everything, Kenzo. I will solve every riddle you put in front of me. Damn right, there's a prize. Damn right. Everyone gathered around me, smiling as they thought about what sort of puzzle they'd give. They're all thinking about me so that they can play with me. I'd give her the hardest puzzle. Just the feel of having that all to myself almost made me explode with joy to becoming the princess. So here's this impossible math problem that hasn't been solved yet. Here, try to solve this. I can just absolutely just be an ass. No, I. The question is like whether you'd give him like a hard ball or low ball it. That's the real question. I became the Halloween party princess. And the tournament of quizzes and riddles just for me began. It looks like I get a medal for each puzzle I get right. If I get a lot, I'm supposed to get a wonderful prize from grandfather. Okay, here I go. No. No. Why? What? No, 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 we're saving. Uh, because I don't like the way this is going. Hey, can we start off with softballs just to see if it's actually hard or not? That completely didn't make sense. No. No. Maria laughed with an evil smile. It looks like everyone's going to try and bully me. I'm sure they'll think of something really hard, some really hard questions. Bitch, I don't need your hand. I don't need no damn handouts. Smack her hand away. I got this. I'm gonna crash and burn. I'm getting all the medals, bitch. This is my puzzle. Um, let's start with Battler. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Oh no. <laughs> so there's this, there's this epitaph. Ah, oh, God. No. I swear to Christ. I suddenly got tense and my stomach began to feel tight. Then Ava gently held my hand. No, it's not. I'm not. No. Christmas. Christmas. The fuck is what? Even though it was October, he suddenly started talking about Christmas. Is he going to ask what day Christmas is? I know that. It's December 25th. He, okay. Christmas. Oh, no, 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 no. What? What? I'm going to have to read that again. On Christmas Day, a woman looked up at the night sky and spoke. Eventually, the night will end and morning will come. 
Wouldn't it be wonderful if, after the sun sinks and it becomes night once more, it could be Christmas again? Oh god, it's a wordplay, it's a wordplay. Oh god. After the sun sinks, the night will end and morning will come on Christmas Day. Okay, so she's at night. She's it's in a night sky. So theoretically, it, so let's say it's Christmas. It's Christmas night, like at midnight. Midnight 01. 01. And it's night, so theoretically, morning will come and it's Christmas. After the sun sinks and it becomes night once more, it, it could be, be Christmas again. Technically, it still is Christmas until midnight, so technically the sun would set and be night again. Theoretically. Or you could just be time zone bullshit and just fly around the world. <laughs> oh god no oh oh no can i say okay i can save in here on christmas day a woman looked at the eventually the night will end the morning will come wouldn't it be wonderful if after the sun's sake and it becomes night once more it would be christmas again the man spoke okay i'll make your dream come true for you Yes, it would be, because night the night will end, that means it's morning, which means it's Christmas morning as well, like the night will end, and, you know, it, it's already at night, at midnight or, you know, 1 a.m., it's night, it's Christmas day, morning comes, 8 a.m., hey, it's Christmas morning, blah, 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 blah. bullshit, 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 it goes down to midnight, or 11 p.m., night time, it's then Christmas again. Fuck me, I am saving. This is going to absolutely fucking slaughter me. Oh god. Oh god, but, but then again, what if it's what if I'm just overthinking it? Josh shit. Oh no. Oh no.